Mel B, 47, has been making headlines with her recent interview mishaps and outspoken personality, with her recent interview on The Big Nasty Show being no different. The Spice Girls star was asked to name the biggest D-head in showbiz, with Mel using the opportunity to blast James Corden as not being very nice. Mel appears on this evening's The Big Nasty Show, with Mo Gilligan and Big Nasty hosting. Mo asked the Spice Girl, who is the biggest D-head celebrity you've ever met? Mel shockingly replied, so, Terry's a few. James Corden, Jerry Halliwell, Jesse J and me. Big Nasty interjected, you said James Corsden, what did he do? Mel B replied, I think you always have to be nice to the people that you work with whether it be production, camera guys, sound, lighting, we all work for the same thing. So you should always be nice and he hasn't been very nice. This isn't the first time James has been criticized this year, with restaurant owner Keith McNally calling out the presenter for his comments to his workers at the Balthazar on two occasions. Keith took to Instagram to claim James was one of the most abusive customers he ever had in his restaurant. James was banned from the restaurant chain, after admitting at first that he believed he did nothing wrong. However, after the public scrutiny the presenter received, he admitted that he made a rude, rude comment adding that it was never my intention to upset the staff at the restaurant. He said on the Late Late Show, I didn't shout or scream, I didn't get up out of my seat, I didn't call anyone names or use derogatory language. But the truth is I have made a rude, rude comment. And it was wrong. It was an unnecessary comment, it was ungracious to the server. Dot the restaurant owner, following James' apology on the Late Late Show, lifted the restaurant ban. James even said on the show that after the Instagram post he contacted the restaurant host immediately and they had a good talk. He continued, he appreciated the call. I was happy that we got to clear the air. And I felt like we dealt with it privately. But by this point, the story was out there and more people were upset. James spoke about the incident to the Times, with him reiterating that he didn't shout or scream, but this did not please the restaurateur. He wrote on Instagram that the Gavin and Stacey star had flip-flopped and told a massive lie again. Keith wrote, On second viewing, I found his TV confessional contrived and phony. The actor will say anything to save his bacon. In the scheme of things my opinion means nothing, but after Friday's interview and a second look at his fraudulent confessional, I've given up on James Corden. For good. Express.co.uk have contacted James Corden for comment previously. The Big Nasty Show is on Channel 4 tonight at 11.05pm.